I've never seen someone smoke so many cigarettes. A pale skeleton of inset eyes, chain smoking one after another. But I guess when you have terminal cancer, the consequences don't really matter. His hospital band, Red Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Toastmaster, that's not the fault that I'm not. Let me introduce you to my friend Bob, the larrikin, the traveller, the character. Have you ever been in a pub and that stranger comes up and talks your ear off all night? You probably met Bob then. Bob was a typical character. And after escaping from him that night, I didn't give two thoughts about it. Until about a year later, I hear from the back room. G'day, Roy, how are you going? Oh, great to see you once again. Oh, I tell you what, oh, I've just been out the Pilbara. Oh, mate, I tell you what, you've got to get out there. That desert is amazing. Red for as far as the eye can see. You can go days without seeing anyone. I guess that's why they call it the Never Never. Ah. Oh. Don't tell me you've just been hanging around Sydney. Oh, mate, you've got to get out there. See Australia. You're here for a good time, not a long time. The time passed, and I didn't hear from Bob again until another year. When I hear him once again, G'day, Roy! How's it going? Just been down to Cairns, just been up to Cairns. Oh, it's amazing. I've been teaching German hands how to scuba dive. I've hooked up with his hippie chick. Oh, she can make the best mung bean burgers. Oh, don't tell me you just be hanging around Sydney. I keep on telling you, get out there. See Australia. You're here for a good time. Not a long time. Another year old passed. And how do you know? Bob showed up again. <laughs> Get out, Roy! <laughs> Fantastic to see ya. Oh, mate, I tell you what, I've been up Darwin way. Got myself a job on a oil rig. Every day I have to fly a helicopter to work. I'm the cook for the crew. Got this great recipe for mung bean burgers, you know. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. You just stuck working in office? How many times do I tell you? Get out there. See Australia. You're here for a good time, not a long time. I started to look forward to whenever Bob turned up. Start listening to the amazing adventures he had. And strangely enough, his visits started becoming more and more regular. Eventually one day, I found out why. He had to see a specialist. And the prognosis wasn't good. He'd been asked to check into a hospice, to wait and die. I'll go and visit him each week after work. He would sit there and I'll watch him smoke cigarettes and he'll tell me stories of the travels. Another week would pass. And I'll sit there watching him smoke cigarettes. And we started talking about what's been happening in the hospital. As weeks passed, it got to the stage where I'll just sit there watching him smoke cigarettes. And the conversation was no more. I've never seen anyone smoke so many cigarettes. One day, I went to the hospital, and his room was empty. I asked the nurse, where's Bob? She asked, are you family? No, I'm a guy you met down the pub. They didn't say anything after that. 
I went down to the local boarding home and I had another view. From behind I heard, G'day Roy, how are ya? Bob was alone. Ah, oh, couldn't stand in there anymore. Going down to St Kilda. <coughs> It's amazing down there. Best live music scene. And the girls, uh, I keep on telling you, you've got to get out there to see Australia. You're here for a good time, not a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Toastmaster. Maybe someday you will have a problem with your head. Maybe you will face a relationship like that. Maybe you will have your career fall apart. Will you choose to give up and die? Bob chose to live. You're here for a good time. 